Hello Corkies, welcome back. Well, we're past summer and we're into the fall or autumn season and it's time to make some fall cocktails. That's right. Today we're doing a twist on the classic. We're doing a cinnamon apple old fashioned. So stay tuned. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to CorkandJava.com. We all know you're supposed to get joy and fascination from even the little things in life that most people take for granted. So here at Cork and Java, we're here to expand and enrich your experience with all of your favorite beverages through wine and coffee and other beverage reviews and how to's. So if you're new here and that sounds interesting, smash that subscribe button down below as they say, and give us a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithms. All right, let's get right down to it. One of my favorite cocktails is the old fashioned. And one of my favorite things about it is there's so many ways you can modify and, and make it brand new. And the original is great. Don't get me wrong, I love it. But especially as you're coming into certain seasons like fall, you can really kick it up and make some really great fall flavor. So we're gonna go with a uh, cinnamon apple variation of the old fashioned. And what we're using is Evan Williams apple bourbon here. We're using a little bit of this fireball cinnamon whiskey. Now this stuff is pretty terrible in my opinion by itself, but it makes a great addition for fall based cocktails, especially like if you add it to like apple cider or something, it's, it's pretty good. And of course we got our bitters here and for a garnish, uh, an apple, I'm just gonna, um, do a little bit of the, the apple skin there, a uh, slice. And I uh, got some simple syrup, which is super easy to make if you haven't seen us make it before. It's one part water to one part sugar. You uh, heat it up on the stove till it reaches a boil, turn off the heat, let it cool off and just put it in a bottle and you're good to go in the fridge. So to start, we got these nice giant ice balls here which i love to make cocktails out of um i will leave a amazon link in the description below if you're looking to get one of the sets that come with uh these big ice balls here it's great for these type of cocktails because it doesn't melt fast it keeps your drink uh cool without really diluting it and it also looks amazing so what we're gonna do, and I always just eyeball measurements here. Of course, with this, we already know it's an ounce and a half. So ounce and a half of the Evan Williams apple. Ooh, smells, smells like a Jolly Rancher sour apple candy. We might even not even need much simple syrup at all. Let me get a little taste of this first. Nope. If, if you're using this, absolutely. You're getting enough, way enough sweetness. Don't need the simple syrup. Forget I even mentioned it. That was the first time I've tried this. I, I thought it was gonna be more apple-y, but I didn't know it was gonna be so sweet. But yeah, now to uh, level off a little bit of that sweetness, apple sweetness with a little kick of cinnamon here. And we're going with about an ounce of that not quite as much as we went with the apple and of course three dashes of your bitters and to garnish just gonna do a little apple slice all right that and that in there just a little garnish of course if you're better at peeling than me you could do a better job. I don't really care. To be honest, if it was just me, I wouldn't be garnishing it anyway. But I do it for you guys, the beloved peeps, the corkies out there. All right, give it a little mix, mixer -ooski. I forgot to bring in my mixer, so I'm just gonna do it by twirling, which is very appropriate. Look at that. Woo. Yeah, baby. Let's give this a taste now, shall we? Mmm. 
Perfect balance of that cinnamon and apple flavors there. Man, it just reminds you of fall. Mm. I really like that combination. The bitters adds a, a, a nice touch on top there. But yeah, really awesome, delicious cocktail for the fall season. I think you're gonna love it, and I think uh, your friends are gonna love it if you make it for them. So yeah, give this a try, and let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. Also, if you're into wine, which I know a lot of you guys are, and you're wanting to kickstart your wine experience, maybe you're kind of new to wine and want to just jumpstart your appreciation for wine, check out the link down below for the California Wine Club. They'll send you wine right to your door. You don't even have to go to the store. And they handpick stuff out of these small family-owned vineyards out in California that uh, are really, really awesome. You're getting great value deals on uh, this wine. It's one of the top rated wine clubs in the world. So definitely check out the California Wine Club down below and kickstart your wine experience. All right, guys, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys online. We're on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, and Instagram. So until next time, bottoms up.